All right, guys, it looks like there's a new game in town, and that game is Splitgate. So if you don't know what Splitgate is, it's basically if Halo and Portal did a little and had a baby and this popped out. So it's it's a first person shooter where there's jetpacks, low gravity. I know for, for a Call of Duty channel, mentioning jetpacks is crazy, but it actually works in this. And also it has the portal mechanic from, you guessed it, portal, just to help you move around the map and get kills through there. And most importantly, what this game has is camos. Now the challenges to unlock these camos aren't too crazy. They're basically similar to CODs, like get hundred kills, do this amount of damage, blah, blah, blah. And, you, and this is usually the part where I say, I'm gonna go get this gold, but I already have now i've been grinding this game a lot and i just went ahead and got the assault rifle gold this is what the gold camo looks like in this game i have not seen it in game yet in hand because i literally just got a gold i haven't played a single game past that but i i love this game i've been playing the hell out of it it is so much fun i've been enjoying every second of it if you're looking for a multiplayer game and cod is not doing that for you right now because i know that the opinion on cold war multiplayer isn't that great and then you know modern warfare has its own fans but if you want something different split gate is that game game. Now, I've been playing for about a week now, uh, kind of the first half of the week of learning, getting the basics and all that. And then the second half of the week, I've been grinding camos. So to show you what my stats look like after getting my first weapon gold, here they are. Uh, lifetime, I have a 1.59 KD, which isn't too crazy. Uh, 1,900 kills, 1,000 almost 200 deaths and one really really important stat that they have in this game is tea bags as you can see right down here i have 67 i'm gonna try to get two while we play it a day try to get to 69 tea bags and also we're gonna be showing off our gold assault rifle now the mode that i have found to be the best for camo challenges is king of the hill now this is my first gun that i've grinded in this game so things can change but so far i've had the most success playing on this mode also if you see me back there i got really lucky and got a nice skin out of a free drop and also i I would have had to put a little money into it so I can throw some cheek around. Look at that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what gold looks like in this game. And I think it looks pretty nice. You know, it's, it's subtle, but also it glistens a little bit. Don't shoot me. Come on, bro. All right, let's take another look while we're not getting shot at. It's pretty subtle honestly but it has that nice little glisten to it and like just the right amount of flavor on it uh i think they'll probably be adding more camos if this game continues to have success but right now i'm happy with my first camo and like i was mentioning earlier these camos are very similar to cods the first challenge is going to be get x amount of kills for this ar it was get a thousand kills total so that took a little bit but that definitely Ooh, get out of here. But I already got off track. Uh, now back to what I was saying, the challenges are very similar, like the get kills. This one, it goes up to a thousand, which seems like a lot. But if you play for a while, you know, it goes by. It's, you, all you have to really do is kill people. It's nothing too crazy to think about while you're playing. But the other challenges are like, do this amount of damage, get this many headshots. And then it's like, get 15 kills in a game with it, which isn't too hard either. But two of the most difficult challenges that I found were get kills through portals. So basically I have to do this. You just set up portals somewhere. This is why I like to play King of the Hill because people are gonna flock to these areas, hopefully. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of talking myself out of it right now because nobody's showing up. Oh, almost had him. But you have to get, I think, 200, maybe 250. I think it just might be 200. 200 kills through portals, which seems like a lot. But, you know, if you're struggling with this challenge, I would definitely play this mode and then try to use your portals as much as possible, like I'm doing here. Because the more often you use them, the more comfortable you get with them, just the more kills you will get with them. Like, statistically, that's just going to happen. The more you use them, the more kills you'll get. But I am coming home from this trip in a few days. So when I get back, I'm going to work on a guide for this to help you guys out. But right now, this is basically like the cliff notes of uh, the guide I'm going to make based off of what I know right now about this game. So portal kills, uh, play King of the Hill, drop portals near the hill. Ooh, somebody's in their portal over here. And you know, just camp kind of, but also like if they don't see you and they didn't do anything about it, what can you do? But the most difficult challenge i've found or the one that takes the most time is double kills now in king of the hill you do start with this ar and this carbine everyone's going to start with the same weapons everyone there's no attachments or anything so everyone's on an even playing field it's basically you have to out aim and out play whoever you're going against which i like a lot about this game it, it really puts your skill to the test instead of like you know who's running the meta build or whatever but if you have the same weapon as everybody double kills is going to be a little tough 
and I think you have to get, we, we can check after this game, but I think it's like 200 double kills. I could be wrong. And that takes a while to do because this gun, it's the time for double kills, like the time in between you get your first kill and your second kill seems to be extremely short. Uh, if I would ask anything of the devs is to increase the time a little bit, you know, be a little more lenient, but basically you have to get kills back to back, like instantly. Like that right there. <laughs> That was great timing, honestly. So they, they basically need to be next to each other in the feed within seconds of happening, barely any time to reload. Now with this gun and its magazine, it seems like there's just too little ammo almost to get double kills with it without having to reload unless you're absolutely perfect and hit every shot, which, you know, is not going to happen all the time, let's be honest. So it makes the challenge a little harder, but ways that I've gotten around this was getting kills through the portals because a lot of the time, at least right now in this stage of the game, people don't really look out for portals on walls to that people are going to shoot through. So you kind of just get a free look at people and, you know, pick up a, a free double. But if that's not happening, I would say pull out your carbine or your secondary. Get a little damage on them first. <laughs> and then go for the kill. Obviously, I couldn't get it there. But now that I've died and respawned with my carbine, what I was doing was getting a few shots off with it and then going for the finish with the assault rifle, which has been working pretty well. I mean, besides these times I'm dying while explaining it, these these strats have worked pretty well. I went ahead and I got gold basically in about maybe two, three days of just grinding while playing. I can probably get my next guns done a little faster now that I, I kind of know what I'm doing. But what I'll say about this game, it makes the grind fun. Like I compared portal kills to mounted kills earlier because mostly it felt like portal kills were something where you had to sit there, hang out, completely change up how you play the game just to get this challenge done. But but in this game, portals are a lot of fun. They're a great way to move around the map, a great way to get kills. It's it's a whole part of gameplay. So it's, you're not stopping and doing anything to get these portal kills. So comparing them to mounted kills isn't that accurate because it's way more fun than getting mounted kills will ever be. So I'm going to play one more game here. I'm going to try to focus up, get some nice feed, and, and hopefully we can do well. But if mindlessly like grinding camos isn't really your thing, and you want a more of a competitive side to games, there is a competitive mode in this. There's a competitive competitive 3v3 i think it's called takedown so so it's basically two teams of three go at it uh every time you die your respawn counter gets higher and it just goes to last man standing basically it's a lot of fun especially you got friends to play with you getting a nice group Ooh, he was about to get shotgun so bad so i think this game has a little bit of everything especially in it's like time trials so with the movement in this game moving with portals like this Ooh, that was sick! There, There's also time trials around the map. If you guys remember from Modern Warfare, come on down. Yeah, but if you guys remember from Modern Warfare, there was time trials where you have to like parkour around the maps. They have a very similar thing in this game, but you can portal around the maps. So if you're into like time trial type things, like CSGO surfing almost type things, this game has that. There's just, I don't know, it, this game gives me a feel that... COD hasn't been given me recently. I have no camos to get in COD, which is one huge thing for me. And it's the multiplayer is like run down. It it feels almost like a chore to play if I if I don't have anything to work towards in it. But this game, even if I wasn't grinding camos, I'd be having fun with it. Look, portal here, portal here, pop out, let a guy up. He's already dead. It's still it's still fun though. There we go. Oh, you're gonna push me. Oh, that was so close. No, it wasn't. He had 70 health. And if neither of those things have convinced you to play this game yet, look at this. Look at that. One more time, just in case you missed it. He's throwing cheeks in game. What, what game can you do that in? And to make it even more accessible, this game is available on PC and console. I think it might have crossplay. I'm not too sure. Maybe they're working on it. Yeah, I'm not in the know with this game. But basically, anybody can play it. So if you're looking for a game to play, it is free. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, this is not sponsored. I just really, I really like this game a lot. One more thing I will say about this game is, you know, I've been playing on controller since I've been on this trip. Uh, playing on keyboard and mouse, there isn't really too much room to do it. Uh, I've tried to do it for some videos and it's just really uncomfortable. So this is a game that I've had to learn solely on controller and I've loved every second of it. I, it feels like I'm back playing like Halo 3, Halo Reach. It just feels right to play this game on a controller. Now time to quick scope. This guy's hiding in here. Oh, get out of here. I'm going to snipe. We're going to work on some sniper camos. Who wants some? Ooh, I had, I legged him. So I had to finish him with the AR and I got shot from behind. All right, there's a dude right up here. Let's get him with the carbine. You having fun? Oh, wait, somebody's on this hill. Come here. No. Come here. Where are you running to? Gone. Domed. Is a shotgun here? It is. Oh, 
Come on. Let me try to show off all these weapons really quick first. Let's kill this guy. Let's run for the shotgun. Switch to this. Pull out the shoddy. Ooh, nice little falling shot. Oh wait, here's a battle rifle. Just conveniently on the ground for us. Nice. Oh, I got a double kill with the assist. Ooh, a quick little double to hit him with a double pump. A little Fortnite classic on him. What's down here? The railgun, I'll pick that up. This is like a charge rifle, so I'll just send it through here. Nothing. There's a guy right here. Gone. It's a one-shot kill, but you do have to charge it up. It seems OP, but its speed can get you killed if you're not accurate. Now let's see if we can get the plasma rifle first. Goodbye. Oh, the game's over. But I think we did pretty well. 33 kills. That's not bad. Ooh, gold medal. That means first in the game. 2,000 damage dealt. Not bad. Ooh, and a little progress towards our camos. After the game, it will show you the little progress you're getting or what you're closest on, which I like a lot. If they do add camo, checking camo progress in game, I'll, I'll love this game forever. But really quick, let's go over the specific stats you need to get these camos unlocked. And to get the first one fully unlocked, you need 1,000 kills with it. And you'll get this nice little reactive skin called the Sunflower, which is really cool. I like how they add reactive skins as unlockables. This one is another reactive one. You need to inflict 50,000 damage, which it seems like a lot, but this is going to be your primary in a lot of modes. So you can get this done pretty quick. This one is get... 100 headshot kills doesn't look too crazy it's got a nice little pattern on it almost like a fake gold maybe a little platinum in there not too bad 150 double kills probably the hardest challenge with mm, i i can't tell if i like this camo or not kind of cool but it gives me like a spray camo type of feel almost i don't know maybe i'll, I'll grow on it this is getting 200 kills through portals it looks really nice i think uh it's it's minimalist with a little digital camo on it a little stripe going across it but but people who know what you have to do to get this camo will probably fear you and the 15 kills in a single match uh not too difficult of a challenge decent looking camo and one more time the gold ar but if you do want to give this game a try here is my referral code all you have to do is at the main menu once you get the game go to your reward center and put this in you don't have to but i think i do get some rewards for it so if you want to help the boy out go ahead if not it's fine with me but if you guys like this video and you want to see more split gate on the channel i'm definitely down i'm gonna be playing this a lot when i get home on stream so be on the lookout for that but if you like the video leave a like on it you didn't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing and yeah i think that's it for me today i'll see you guys next time later